The wings of the bee. Work into a magic ring. Wrap the white yarn around your fingers like this. Make loop around your middle finger. Pinch the crossover of the yarn with your thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. A magic ring is formed on middle finger. In round one, start with one chain stitch, and then work six in crochets. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Then work six in crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then yarn hook and pull the yarn through both loops and hook. That's one single crochet. Place a marker in the first stitch. Through the underneath of the two loops of the V shape. Like this. Okay. Continue to work five more single crochets. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Six and crochets are completed. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Remove the marker. Insert hook into this marking stitch. Yarn hook and pull up loop through the stitch. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. That's one slip stitch. Pay attention here. The slip stitch and the chain stitch are not counted into the number of stitches. Round one is done. In round two, start with one chain stitch, and then work six increases. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Then work eight increases. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Work one single crochet first. Mark the first single crochet. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. Work five more increases in the same way.
Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Remove the marker. Insert hook into this marker stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the second loop. That's one slip stitch. Okay, round two is done. In round three, start with one chain stitch. Then work set of one single crochet, one increase for six times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. One chain stitch first. One single crochet. Mark the first stitch. Next, one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. One single crochet and one increase are finished. One set is done. Please keep working 5 more sets. Work 1 single crochet and 1 increase as 1 set. We'll skip the demo here. Please finish them by yourself. 6 sets are completed. Finally, work 1 slip stitch in the first stitch. Remove the marker. Insert hook into this marker stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the second loop. That's one slip stitch. Okay, round three is done.